We'll start with the 400 metres. I'm Steve Cram, and I'll hand you now to Tim Hutchings. Evening, Tim. Thank you, Steve. Yes, not ideal conditions for any of these athletes, and uh, the Jamaicans in particular won't be enjoying it. There is uh, Hannah Williams, Hearts Heart Phoenix athlete, 32 years old, recently ran a 52.49 personal best at Nuneaton, the uh, Britain. She's a late replacement here for Emily Diamond, out in lane eight. Rightly enough, looks nervous. Kaylin Whitney, world number 15 this year, the second fastest in the field on this year's times, mind you. World junior champion over 200 back in 2014, gradually fulfilling her potential at the full lap. Stephanie Ann McPherson of Jamaica, sixth in the Rio Olympics, great championship temperament, bronze medalist back in 2013 at the World Championships in Moscow. And there is Kendall Ellis in very good form, the fastest in the field on this year's times. It's her fourth 400 of this season. She's running really well inside 51 seconds. Sherika Jackson, the Rio Olympics bronze medalist, Commonwealth silver medalist over 200. She has good speed too, a great championship performer. Lavia Nielsen, Great Britain, goes in lane three. Good lane draw this for the UK champion last year. Ran a fast 300 in London back in early April and uh, believed to be in very good form. Lika Klaver of the Netherlands, one of the Dutch duo on the inside. This is her first outdoor race of the season after, uh, apart from the World Relays, where she ran the first leg for the uh, Dutch squad three weeks back in Poland. And Lisanne Witter, her compatriot, European Championship bronze medalist in Berlin 2018 with a national record, 50.77. Not a great lane draw, lane one, though. How will she contend with this... Uh, gusting wind in the stadium we've had some uh, events over the last uh, half hour or so for to warm up the crowd and uh, wind speeds have been up to and beyond four meters per second it really isn't uh, great conditions and i don't think the stadium record of 49.95 by kathy freeman 25 years ago in 1996 is under any threat here but let's see this should be Set. competitive well, do you go with the wind and really stride out strongly down the back straight with the wind blowing you along, or do you save it for the home straight when we will undoubtedly see athletes struggle? Certainly good running there from uh, Kendall Ellis in lane five in the red bottom centre of picture and also moving smoothly, Lavia Nielsen. There is Ellis, well up already on Stephanie Ann McPherson. She's passed McPherson with 200 to run. Good running, mind you, from Whitney and Williams on the outside. As uh, Kendall Ellis continues to stride away strongly here, Lavia Nielsen has been caught by Lika Klaver in lane two. Klaver's had a fabulous run. De Vitter on the inside is nowhere back in lane one. But it's now between Ellis and in lane two, Lika Klaver. Klaver fighting hard into the wind, and Ellis beginning to tread water. And McPherson may have judged this better. Is she going to run out of track or is she going to get there? She does. Ellis hangs on for the win. I think McPherson came through for second with Klaver on the inside there in lane two taking third place 51 87 well that might not be from top draw the top draw of world-class times but in these conditions anything under 52 seconds really is very very sound indeed well that was tough uh, 400 always tough anyway into the home straight but goodness me having to fight with the wind and Ellis was rewarded as you said Tim at the beginning about going out hard uh, McPherson tried the other strategy, came back or tried to come back hard into that win. Claver probably ran a more even paced race. Remember the last time we saw her, she won the Diamond League in Rome rather surprisingly. Had a great indoor season as well, but she sort of stops at this point or her attempt to get to the front stops. And it's McPherson who almost makes it in the end, but well done, Ellis. You know, she was rewarded there really for attacking that first 200 and trusting her ability to hang on, but goodness me. She was uh, treading water a little bit this last 20, 30 metres. And I agree with you, Tim. I think in these conditions, into that wind in the home straight, that's not bad at all. Those times, you know, around the world, people might just look at the paperwork and see the result and go, hmm, <laughs> but it wasn't bad. Well, there it is. Alice, 51.86. McPherson, 51.96. Just a few inches short of the win. Clava, 52.03. A season's best for her in third.